Okay, let us start the set theory. So the paper two of BSc Mathematics, the first unit, the set theory, uh, the syllabus need to complete at least ten hours. At least ten hours, we need to take the maximum hours of teaching because the ten hours are not sufficient to study the detail. So the set set theory and set is very well uh, familiar definition because uh, studied at the high school level as well as in the pu level okay it is a formality to introduce uh, once again the set theory what is set set theory the a little bit introduction this set is it is often called as the foundations of mathematics the set theory is also called as the foundation of mathematics set theory created approximately in the year 1850 in the year 1850 these are the Uh, mathematicians contributed in the mathematics uh, david hilbert contour and dedekind and peons uh, these are the main mathematicians uh, they are well contributed uh, in uh, constructing the set theory okay students now come across uh, what is the definition of a set what is a, what is set set is a collection of well defined objects set is a collection of well defined objects so here it comes uh, collection what type of collections Uh, and what are the objects now to take the details where collect the collection may be anything the collection may be anything may be numbers may be letters books etc okay the objects in a set are called as the elements or members of a set okay once again i repeat this one set is a collection of well defined objects collection may be anything numbers letters books etc the objects in a set are called the elements or members of a set the sets are usually denoted by capital letters those capital letters s a x y z a b c p q r s etc and their members may be lower case letters or by means of numbers their members so this is the definition of a set and how to represent the set can be see in the next phase now to come across the representation of a set representation of a set take the one example example of a set let a capital letter a be the set of natural numbers less than 6 how to write this a a can be written in the flower bracket and namely called as the brace bracket a is be the set of natural numbers less than 6 means the a can be written in the set symbol 1 2 3 4 5 this set also be written 1 2 3 4 5 detail i written in terms of symbolically it written second one this is second one set a a is equal to set whenever it comes the the bracket you have to be read as a set if the bracket comes means this flower bracket comes means you can read as a a the a is equal to the set x such that the symbol indicate the such that a is equal to the set x such that x belongs to n and s x is less than 6 so the meaning of these two are same 1 2 3 4 5 5 are natural numbers less than 6 and we said that a is equal to x x belongs to the natural number and x is less than 6 means again the meaning has to be the set a containing a 1 2 3 4 5 5 but the system of writing this example let a be the set of natural numbers less than 6 has the two way one is the details elements has been written in a flower bracket or brace bracket and another one is symbolically to represent the things in the bracket by means uh, uh, the second one so the first method what you written the detail is called the tabular method of representation of a set this uh, first method is called as the tabular method of representation of a set and second method what you symbolically represented that is called as the rule method of representation of a set next to come across the the set of real numbers the set of real roots of the equation x square minus 1 equal to 0 what are the set of uh, real roots of the equation x square minus 1 equal to 0 by tabular method we can write that as a equal to 1 because x cube minus 1 equal to 0 is the cubic equation this cubic equation has the three values of x the x value is a 1 the x value is a minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 the x value is a minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 there are three roots of the x cube minus 1 equal to 0 that means x has the three values those are mainly called as the 1 omega omega square the 
is the only real number. What is the question here? The set of real root of the equation x cube minus 1 equal to 0. So there are three roots 1 omega and omega square. This omega and omega square containing i. If containing i means these are complex numbers. Only one is the real root. Therefore in the tabular method this can be represented the set a equal to 1. How to represent in the rule method? In the rule method to write a is equal to the set x such that x is real number in x cube minus 1 equal to 0. This is the method of representing a uh, example in the tabular method and the rule method. So I hope it is clear. Huh? So the one thing to remember x cube minus 1 equal to 0. The question is the real roots x cube it is a cubic equation if cubic equations means it has the three values of x those three values of x is nothing but the one omega omega square namely omega is a minus one plus i root three by two omega square is a minus one minus i root three by two only real root means one therefore it is one can be written there in the rule method this is x x is the real in x cube minus 1 equal to 0 this is the way of representing a set in the tabular method and the roster method next to go for the types of a set next to go for the types of a set what are the types of set there are two types namely infinite and finite sets and many more are there before that what is finite set and infinite set for example, a is equal to the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are limited numbers, therefore it is called as a finite set. And this set B written as 1, 2, 3, 4. After that 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 dot. So many dots have to be written. That is called as the infinite set. The, that means continuous. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on to be continuing up to uh, uh, continuously, infinitely. Therefore, it is called as a infinite set. What is the definition of a finite set? So, if it is set A is said to be finite means it has the definite number of elements. If a set A, B, set A is called that as the, or B is called as the infinite, it has the infinite number of uh, elements. Next, it is a singleton set. Singleton means a set containing only an element. For example, A is equal to the singleton set 0 b is equal to the singleton set 1, c is the singleton set a, this set symbol and it is a 0, only one element, a set containing only one element is called as a singleton set. Next, the empty set, what you called as the empty set, there is a symbol of set but no elements, then it is called as a empty set, empty set is denoted by either by means of a bracket or by means of a this symbol pi. So what is empty set, a set consisting no elements, a set consisting no elements is called as the empty set. Next to go for the subset. The subset. The subset symbol has been uh, indicated here. And superset, the reverse of this subset is a, the direction has been changed. It is suppose uh, to the right words uh, and it is the left words. Subset symbol and it is a super subset. Suppose A is said to be subset of B, the written as A subset B. Whenever A is called the subset of B, this all the elements of A are in B. B is the biggest set here. A are the constructed, A, the set A is constructing from B. That A is called as a subset of B. Meanwhile, if A is the subset of B, then B is the biggest set and A is the smallest set. Then on that time, we can call as a B is super set of A. So read this as a A is subset of B. Read this as a B is super set of A. So this is the meaning of subset and a super set. Next to come across the universal set. Universal set is usually denoted by capital letter U. The universal set is usually denoted by capital letters U. What do you mean by universal set? Universal set means it is a big set. Big set means it, it has capable to form the number of subsets. It has capable to form the number of subset. Suppose the set of natural numbers. The set of natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. In the natural numbers, there may be two tables, two, four, six, eight. There may be three tables, three, six, nine. There may be five multiples, six multiples, and seven multiples. That means that natural number forms the number of subsets, and that time that natural number may be called as the universal set. Anyhow, it is remember universal set means it is a big set. Next to come across the operations on set. 
So the main familiar operations on set is the union of two sets and the intersection of uh, two sets. Union of two sets is denoted by the letter cup. The U, what you return, it is called as a simply as a cup. And intersection of sets is in reverse, that is called as a cap. This is cap. It is the cup shape called as a cup. The intersection is the cap shape and it is called as a cap. So now to consider the two sets A and B, the union of A and B is written A cup B. It is the set X such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. What is the intersection of sets? Intersection of sets is denoted by A cap B is equal to the set X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. X is compulsory on A and X is compulsory on B. Then it is called the A intersection B. A union B means X may be in either A or X may be in R in B. So these are the two types of uh, two operations union and intersection. Next operation is the difference of two sets. The difference of two sets, the difference of two sets is either A minus B or B minus A. So now to come the A minus B. The difference of two sets is the a minus b. What do you mean by the a minus b? a minus b is equal to the set x such that x belongs to a and x does not belong to b. a minus b is equal to the set x such that x belongs to a and x does not belong to b. Meanwhile, b minus a means the set x such that x belongs to b and x does not belong to a. So, these are, this is the difference of sets. Now, to take the one example to find the a union b, a intersection b, a minus b and b minus a. Uh, example, if A is equal to the set containing 1, 2, 3, 4, B is the set containing 3, 4, 5, 6. Our question is to find A union B, A intersection B, A minus B, B minus A. What is A union B? According to the definition, all the elements of A and B. The elements of A are 1, 2, 3, 4. Elements of B are 3, 4, 5, 6. The 3, 4, 3, 4 repeated here, write at only once and it is the construction A union B, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then what is A intersection? A intersection B means common elements of A and B. The common elements in A is 3, 4. In B is 3, 4. Therefore, A intersection B is 3, 4. What is A minus B? A minus B means the set A minus B means all the elements of A. 1, 2, 3, 4. But these elements are not in B. 1, 2, 3, 4. But 3, 4 are in B. Therefore, eliminate 3, 4. Write only 1, 2. It is the A minus B. Then what is B minus A? B minus A means all the elements of B. All the elements of B. 3, 4, 5, 6. But which are not in A. 3, 4, 5, 6. But 3, 4 are in A. Therefore, only the elements left in B is a 5, 6. It is a B minus A. It is a method of writing the A minus B, B minus A, A union B, A intersection B. Okay, continuing the next class.